Hey guys, it's Lee here from Click Studios. Um, I haven't done a video for a while and I do apologize for that, but today I wanted to create a video that shows you how to set up an Active Directory account in a password record and have password state automatically reset the password for that account in Active Directory. So first what we need to do is log in as a security administrator and just confirm that we do have a couple of prerequisites already set up. And first we'll look under the administration tab and confirm that we do have our Active Directory, Active Directory domain set up. Um, if you have the Active Directory integrated version of Password State installed, then this is probably already present for you. But if you don't, you can just click Add and Add in your domain. Next, you'll need to uh, add in a privileged account. And this privileged account is uh, an Active Directory account that has permissions to reset other user accounts in Active Directory. Generally, uh, the permissions required for this, um, it needs to be a member of account operators, um, but you can go a bit higher with those permissions if you need to, if you're trying to reset you know, domain administrators or something along those lines. So I've already created one, and you can see I've got it in the domain slash username format, and I've set the account type as Active Directory. I've given it a title, and I've set the password to be what the current password is in Active Directory, so you can see the username and password matches. The next thing you'll have to quickly check is with this privileged account when it cancels. Um, the next thing you have to check is that the permissions on this privileged account that you can see it and use it throughout the system. Um, generally, when you create a privileged account, it only assigns your username, but if other people want to use this privileged account, um, you can just assign permissions here for them. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll create a new password list. And normally what you do is you run through this wizard, you select the password resets template, give the list a name, confirm who you want permissions for, and create it. And when you create this password list based off the template, all that's really doing is enabling this setting here, which is enable password resets. Um, so if you already have an existing password list, you can just come in and tick that option and that does the same thing. Okay, so now what we'll do is we will add in a new user or a new account into this uh, password list. And you'll need to have these options selected, enabled for resets and enabled for heartbeat if you want password state to reach out to Active Directory and reset the account. Um, we'll give it the Active Directory account type and enter the domain that you found earlier. We'll put in the username and I'll just put in a dummy password for now. I know that's wrong, but I'm just putting in a, a dummy one just for the purpose of this video. And next we go over to the reset options tab and you don't need to, for Active Directory accounts, there's no need to select a script, that's all automatic. The privileged account, you'll need to select the one that we discussed earlier in the video. And these options here, the password reset schedule, um, you can set it to reset at a specific time of the day. And when it does reset, you can add another 90 or 120 days to the expiry date, and then it will just keep continually recycling the password. And under the heartbeat options tab, you don't need to do anything here. It should have already selected this validate password for the Active Directory account script and if you want to you can validate the password once per day and choose the time of when you want that to be performed. All right, so if we save that record now you see right now it's got a grey status of reset because it's never been reset it's never performed a heartbeat it's managed which means that password state is actually managing this account and the enable for resets option is ticked um, and if we perform a heartbeat on this now, um, send an account heartbeat request, you should see that it will come back. It's red. That reached out to Active Directory right then, and it said failure. So basically, it just says the username or password is incorrect, or the account is possibly locked out. But we know that the password is actually incorrect. So next, what we can do, let's go back in here, and we will generate a new password. And I'll make it a, I'll choose a different password generator just so it's a, a longer, stronger password. And that's what it will be now. So if I click save now, you'll find that 
the password reset tasks have been queued and you can tell that by the grid has changed the reset status is now gray and what's currently happening is the password state window service on your web server polls once per minute and looks for these types of jobs and when it picks it up it will process that job and then it will report back into the ui what actually happened so while we wait for this you can actually click on the um, icon the eye icon here the information icon and this will refresh to the grid and you can see down the bottom it says grids have been refreshed so if you're waiting for something to happen you can just keep continuing to click that button and it should be somewhere around about the 30 seconds to a minute mark before this will come back and say we should have a successful password reset and it will report it back in here so this is the auditing grid you can see uh, at 421 it's been added to the queue um, and it's currently waiting so if we now click on the queue again it's still waiting for the password state service to pick this job up okay there we go that is now a successful reset um, and you can tell it's been removed from the queue the reset was successful um, and that is the new password in password state but also in active directory so if you log into any machine with this account that password will get you into that machine okay so that's how to set up an active directory account um, in password state and perform automatic resets um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please uh, email us on support at clickstudios.com.au. Um, apart from that, have a nice day.